Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're back here. Brand new year, first video of the year. Happy New Year to everyone out there. Um, great opportunity to you know be great in 2025. But today we have a cat cut tutorial, and for those of y'all that normally watch my channel, you know different style of video here. But um, you know, kind of gonna have, be helping the people who I'm sure going into the new year want to get started with uh, video editing and making videos. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use CapCut here. And honestly, CapCut's very easy to use once you know start to understand it. I mean, I remember when I started using it like in June of 2023, I mean, by by November, it was like easy. Everything was very easy, very crisp, and it's pretty simple, like I said earlier. But you know, I would say if you guys want to see more of this style of content to continue to come back to the channel, but this is just a one-off video. I mean, I could do a part two to this, but normally we're gonna be back on our NCAA and Madden videos. But, um, you know, nice little one-off here, but still don't forget to go down below the like button, the subscribe button. Check me out on TikTok for more helpful um, NCAA tip list. But let's just jump right into this CapCut tutorial. So the first thing that we have with CapCut is the import. Um, this is where it always loads you into the import section here. So you can see I already have one video imported here. And and I'm just gonna be editing a video that I already need to edit. All right, here we go. I have imported everything that I need. So I just need four things. I have, you know, thanks for watching to end this video. Then I have the actual video I'm editing. And then I have two other things that I wanna talk about, little interruptions throughout the video. So that's, you know, your import, really where you're gonna start. Then you also have, um, you have favorites. So you can favorite a lot of things. You can favorite audio, you can favorite stickers, and you're gonna see I do that a lot. You have your favorites here. And then, you know, we're gonna go ahead and just start with this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and start editing it. And obviously you're gonna start with the audio, right? Normally when you record, um, you know, everything isn't going to be, you know, at the audio level that you want. So normally there's sometimes where my mic sounds good at the volume I want, but normally I have to raise the volume here for it. So really what I'm going to do, so I just turned the audio up and let me go ahead and go back because I don't want to move too fast for some of you guys, but I'm not gonna edit the whole video right here, but you're able to see, so I see the point in which I want to edit, right? I want to edit out the, the beginning of the video where I'm not talking, and then I want to only include the part obviously where I am talking. So I'm gonna drag this line right up to that point, very simple. And you can even zoom in if you wanna see it even better. You see I'm just a little bit over, so I'm gonna move it back just a little bit, I'll go right here. Then I'm gonna press the B button. Um, on my keyboard. So really you can press the B button or you can drag over here to split. So split is obviously gonna split these two um, points in half and then I'm gonna go back and press A or select. I used to use that, but then I just started using the um, the actual buttons to um, edit. So, so we just press B and then we get rid of that initial clip. And so now when we go to start the video. Hey, what's up YouTube? You're able to see it's exactly what I wanna hear, right? I don't want, there's no filler audio to start. And so that's how, you know, we want the video to sound. So then we go through again here. And these, this right here is gonna be where the audio level is. And normally I want it to reach this third audio level. And I normally don't want it to touch that um, orange too often. So I'm going to play it and I'm gonna make sure that it's at that, you know, just that third level. It might touch the orange audio a bit, a bit, but I don't want it to be too loud, too light. So we go ahead and play the video. All right, what's up YouTube? We're back here on College football 25 with another tip video the last tip and the audio sounds good and so as you can see right here we're not really at the point where i want it to be so i, I want to cut out some of this filler audio so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna split the video again the last tip video of 2020 yo. the last tip video 2024 you know bring it down here give y'all a lot of really so as you can see we go ahead and run this a little bit here you see the audio sounds good so when the audio sounds good and it's what you want in the video you can just let it roll but then as soon as you hear something that you don't you're just going to split it right you're just going to split it get rid of that audio and you know if there was like if i i like this intro right but then I want to, but then there's a point right here that I don't like, right? So I'm gonna pause it there, I'm gonna split it. So now you can see it's kind of boxed in. So it's only like a three second clip that I don't like. Well now you just go back to A and you're able to get rid of that. And so now you still have the initial clip that you liked and then you have the rest of the video that you still want now. 
I'm gonna, you know, reset everything because I do end up liking that. But anyway, we're gonna move on to the next part of this, which is gonna be audio. So again, you have import, you can import your own audio, but the thing is, when, if you're using this for YouTube, right, you might have to like copyrighted music. So really, I just find stuff here on CapCut. I sat here for about 10 minutes one night and found the audios that I like for video backgrounds. And then I have like some, you know, up-tempo music, some hype music if a cool play happens in the game. I'm gonna use that so I have my favorites um, and then like I said you can import your own music if you would like to but you also have sound effects here again I have my favorite sound effects oh here we go the favorite sound effects are actually gonna be up here so uh, still favorite sound effects um, and again this is updated for 2025 so CapCut releases updates all throughout the year and this is actually my first time using this updated version but it's a it's like the same as you know the one before that but again you have your favorite sound effects like for me I like when I get interceptions to have a bell ding just like that and then you also have other ones like like that surprise a big you know big um a big audio right there so that's really audio it's pretty simple um you can really and whenever you're dragging audio you really want to make sure that you have it i always have it like right here and so you want to make sure some audios are going to be louder than others so you have to turn some of them down right here so this is good for the video background so i really appreciate that. I, I don't know if you guys can actually hear it but there is you know you're going to be sitting hearing it for the video you're actually watching where you're hearing that background audio just a little bit it's just in the background you're still able to hear pretty much everything i'm saying and um, it's not really distracting the video but it's not like dead noise if I'm not talking so that's really what I like to do I like to use background audios in that situation but next up is text um, now they have CapCut Pro where you're able to do a little bit uh, different cooler things with this um, if we just go to text right here they have an AI writer which they said is free um, but let's find something that isn't free here yeah some of these animations like retro typer where they have or snow rings where it's gonna have snow around it these this little diamond or yeah that little purple diamond it's gonna indicate that that feature is for CapCut Pro members only I don't necessarily have CapCut Pro right now I've used it before I thought it was you know a pretty good feature for the one month that I tried it but um I really don't need it. I feel like CapCut gives you a lot of really good features for free so you, know, you can try it if you want you get some extra cool stuff but you know something that I like to do with this is if I'm playing like three games in a video right I might say that this is going to be game two or and then so you're able to also customize you know the presets so you can have it look however you want you can add a glow to it you can have the change the line thickness and then you can also have you know the text fade in and then you can change the duration for how long it does so you can do a lot of really cool stuff you know with that um, with a lot of the tech stuff text again pretty simple um, and then you also have AI writers so you have a lot of different things you also have captions I've used captions before in my videos where as you're talking the AI is automatically gonna recognize what you're saying and do a really good job you know filling all the details there for you but um so that's really cool with um, that but moving on the next thing we have here is stickers so stickers are obviously going to appear on the screen I have my favorite stickers I have my like my subscribe um, I have some arrows that I like to use at times so really I like to use this subscribe at just different points in the video certainly to start the video so it's gonna appear just like that you're just gonna drag it onto the selection pane and then you are going to obviously shrink it because you don't want it in the middle of the screen but still make sure it's visible and so I'm gonna go ahead and drag it right there it's very simple very easy for you just like that um, and then you know another another thing that you have to understand is if I wanted to also put a um, a like button at the same you know I want to run them at the same time you don't want to do this you don't want to have them running on the same line they need to be on a different line because you're able to see right here as soon as this subscribe ends the like is gonna pop up but I want them to run at the same time so I'm just gonna drag it over the top of it and now they're gonna run at the same time I'm gonna you know make it you know probably the same size you want it to look good on the eye and then however long I make the like I'm gonna make the subscribe the same length so just like this and so now you're able to see the whole time the video is running there together nice and simple nice and easy so that's stickers 
Again, another thing that's pretty simple, you can pick your favorite stickers. You can, you can use different ones for every video, but again, for me, I like to keep it pretty simple with some of my videos, so I use the same stickers on every video. But the next thing we have is text effects. Again, every single thing I'm talking about is gonna have a favorite. So you can just go through and favorite a lot of the stuff that you, um, want to do it again this is a beginner's guide i feel like i don't know i mean i have a pretty good understanding of how to use this and i this path and i feel like if i needed to like if i did like you know how they have tiktok edits of nba players right you can do a lot of that stuff on here on CapCut. but again this is going to be that's pretty advanced and this is pretty basic but these are text effects the ones i like again are right here where you're gonna have the tv turn on kind of like how you know they did back in the 80s and 90s and then you have tv off kind of the same thing then we have a whiteboard effect which is going to basically going to wipe the screen off so that you know you can actually see what's going on i like to do that sometimes to start the videos but the one i do if you guys watch a lot of my videos is the end um we're gonna have a the end effect after every one and then also if i go back to my imports i also have a thanks for watching and the great thing about this the end for me is that it just automatically um fits really well into what i want to do to end the video so you're able to see it kind of closes the screen off and then it i automatically have a thanks for watching so it immediately just blends into it nice and smoothly and so that's really why i like the end effect um just like that but again you can play around with the effects do as many as you want or use them whenever you want they're pretty cool and you can do them throughout the video it just doesn't have to be at the beginning the end but again that's what i like to do um, with mine again you have these are all the video effects that you can choose from a lot of really cool stuff some of them a lot of the cooler ones i will say they do gatekeep a little bit to cap cup pro um, but again go through you have body effects so you have a lot of different stuff here but next thing we're going to talk about is transitions and when you can use these transitions so these are pretty cool again i have my favorites i really only use one um, transition it is really just the page turning because when you go from one point of a video to another you, you sometimes you don't want to just go immediately into it like if i'm going from like i'll give you an example right here i have a social media pitch that i use for my video right I'm gonna remind you to follow me on social media. Well, I want to, you know, kind of blend my video from from the video actually to going into this um, pitch. So I'm gonna transition with a page turn and sometimes it's gonna create duplicate flames just like that. But normally I, I up the duration to at least one second because sometimes the page, like the page turns really fast on so 0.5, but with one second, it does a pretty good job of actually, you know, you being able to recognize it and it's see it. So really you're able to see it. What's up YouTube? We're able to turn the page and then we get into the what's up YouTube and pitching you to follow me on social media, which, you know, go ahead, follow the social media. You see them on the screen. I would Madden and NCAA videos, but um, yeah, so that's the page turning again. I have that favorited and really I have a lot of this stuff favorited because I don't want to have to search for it all the time. That used to be a big problem for me as I didn't realize that you could just favorite stuff and come back to it later. But you're able to see all these other ones, you know, you're able to kind of blend into different things with this mix. So yeah, get a lot of really cool stuff that you can play around with. Obviously it depends on what type of videos you're editing and what you're necessarily using stuff for um, is going to determine what video effects you actually want to use. But yeah, that's what I would do with the transitions. I only really use one, it's called the page turn. Um, but next up we have captions, auto captions. I used to use this to start the video in my intros. I used to have auto captions, but then they started making it to where you have to use CapCut Pro to um, actually use this. So I don't use this anymore, but you know, if you want to, they also have this other stuff. It actually is telling me that I have six uses left, which they actually do give you some free uses to try out some stuff. So if you want to check that out now, this stuff I really don't get into. I don't really go past the transitions. I only use media, audio, text, stickers, effects, and transitions. Um, but again, you can play around with this stuff. They have templates. Templates are really good for like, if you're making like TikTok videos and stuff like that. But again, I don't really, you know, dabble into that stuff. They have AI, you know, the, the um, use of AI is becoming a lot more popular. So you can do a lot of really cool stuff with the AI, some of the adjustments. Um, and you know, you can even change, I believe, you know, some of the way that the video looks, right? You're able to kind of change the colors just like this. You're able to see, boom now the screen's orange right so you can do a lot of different things you know with the colors with retouching a lot of stuff but hopefully you know that video covered a lot of what cat cut is 
it's really cool it's very simple and um hopefully that hopefully you guys can kind of play around with it after watching this tutorial and understand you know kind of the ways that you can um use it to your advantage to, depending on you know what you're actually using it for all right so that's going to do it for this video first of the year obviously happy new year to everyone out there talking about how you can use cap cut to your advantage how you can use it to edit videos and create a lot of really cool things again like i said in the intro it's really simple once you start to understand and play around with it hopefully you know i did a decent job of explaining um you know how, how I use it and how you can use it to you know make your videos a lot better but that's pretty much all I got today don't forget to go down below hit the like button to subscribe button let me know if you guys want to see a part two to this video again I do a lot of NCAA and Madden videos so this is kind of you know off topic here but still first of the year I thought this was a great opportunity to kind of help you guys out those of you who want to get into video editing or making YouTube videos whatever you want to do with CapCut help you to understand a lot better because I know someone did it for me and I would like to pass along the knowledge to you guys. So yeah, that's all I got. I'll see y'all tomorrow with another NCAA video. Peace.